Hi, I'm glad you're up. In 2010, at the State of the Union address, President Bush, uh, excuse me, President Obama made this promise. And we are launching a new initiative that will give us the capacity to respond faster and more effectively to bioterrorism or an infectious disease. But it can take years now for a new life-saving medical product or medication to get through all the bureaucratic red tape. A new report claims to fulfill the promise Obama made during the State of the Union. The administration will have to learn on the very from the very pharmaceutical companies Democrats have criticized in the past. Here to explain is Tevi Troy. He's former Deputy Health and Human Services Secretary under President George H.W. Bush and a senior fellow at the Hudson, Hudson Institute. So the president's upset about uh, a lot of the bureaucracy that slows down quick reactions to epidemics like the, the swine flu. He needs the pharmaceutical companies now, doesn't he? Oh, he absolutely does. I mean, they create these life-saving technologies, but they also know how hard it is to get through the FDA process. It takes 10 years and a billion dollars to get through that process, and it's often discouraging to creating new life-saving, um, helpful homeland security uh, biopharmaceuticals. So he needs these companies now. How ironic is that, Tevi? Uh, it's pretty ironic, especially given how they're often criticized in Democratic campaign rhetoric. President Obama criticized them in 2008. Uh, Senator Kerry criticized them. It's sort of part of the standard playbook, obviously, of Democrats in Congress, like Henry Waxman, who are uh, quite frequent and virulent critics of the, of the companies, and now they're waking up to the fact they need them. Tevi, we had somewhat of a dry run with the swine flu, which thankfully wasn't nearly as bad as everyone feared. Uh, how did we do? What did we learn? What's got to change? Well, they broke out the Bush administration plan, and so for the most part, they did a good job, and they used um, the right type of rhetoric. There were two problems, really. One was in terms of the over-promising of vaccine and under-delivering, and then the second was in terms of the, um, the distribution of getting it to people where it needed to go. They addressed this issue of the development in the report. The rhetoric is something that you, know, you need to be careful of. You can't over-promise. And then the distribution is something that I thought was a little under-discussed in the report. It's, it still remains an important issue. So you have pharmaceuticals who's got to be, be able to act quickly, but all they've heard is how bad they are and how price controls have to be implemented. How can price controls put us all in danger? Well, I mean, the pr price controls are a, a danger in terms of uh, the R&D budgets of the pharmaceutical companies. If they're not out there producing these new technologies, we're not going to have the life-saving technologies when we need them in case of a, a terrible attack. An anthrax attack, for example, uh, could cost, in, in just in New York, could cost uh, thousands of lives and trillions of dollars. Should we be happy the way the FDA is running things? Well, uh, I'd like to see them do better. I think even the Obama administration admitted in this report that there are bottlenecks at the FDA and that they need to do better. So I think um, I'm glad they're waking up to the problem, but I really need to see some serious improvement. All right, uh, Tevi Troy, thanks so much. Thanks. All right, coming up straight.